I'm Kat Greenleaf. Welcome to Talk Stoop right on my stoop here in Cobble Hill, Brooklyn. Joined by Miss Sandra Bernhard, comedian, singer, writer, actress. Yeah, what she said. Raconteur, social commentator. Keep it up. Uh, major Twitterer. What are your main themes? I talk a lot about, you know, celebrity in terms of how it affects, you know, the overall picture of culture people's expectations of fame and their need to be recognized. King of Comedy, which was my first big film, dealt with that theme. Robert, I gotta talk to you for a minute. Wait, what happened last night? Did Jerry say anything? Nothing Can happened. you talk about me? Is no. it enough for you that your parents think you're fantastic or your girlfriend thinks you're fantastic or I think you're fantastic? None of those people think I'm fantastic, so that's really neither here nor I'm just kidding. <laughs> In the 70s, you were really one of the trailblazing female comedians. I never told you about the time that I made out with Warren Beatty by a bank of elevators at the Four Seasons <laughs> in Toronto. <laughs> Did I? I had people who believed in me and supported me and really got me as a very young performer. You think it's harder to be a female comedian than a male? Are you a hologram? I think it's now it's just almost impossible for anybody to come along and do anything that's really original and fresh. And because of the times we're living in and because of all the competition from the you know the housewives of New Jersey. It's good, right baby? You always have to be throwing yourself out there, right? I mean nobody Absolutely. Well I have a lot I have a lot of big plans for the next you know, Ooh, what? Say, Do what? tell. Come on. I really want to end up on another great TV series, whether it's part of an ensemble like Roseanne. It's official. I'm settling for Arnie. Or whether it's my own. I'd like to really be back into the film world. I just had a nice part in this film called Dare. How was it? Um, that Emmy Ross from Stars. It's, it's very good. I play a therapist. Is that how they see you as a friend? Or do you think they want something more from you? Do you think everybody needs therapy? Yes, at some point in their life, wherever absolutely. Lives, they do. Come. Maybe more than once, you know. I think that you go through different periods and then you kind of like bottom out. You need to just get a, get a, a fresh perspective. Comedian to singer and back and forth. I have an album out. Uh, it's called Whatever It Takes. That you can get it online or on Amazon. Take it away. Oh, let's see. Yep. I don't know if I can sing it out here on the stoop. It's a new world, leave your fears behind. It's a new world, her love is so kind. And I'll be performing some of those pieces at Joe's Pub. When? Where, where I will be from, from December 26th through New Year's Eve. My traditional, that's my tradition. I have to perform New Year's Eve. Or so else. I, well, I, because I believe you, if you perform the last night of the year, you'll work all year long. Well, that sounds like a little bit of an OCD tick. Yeah. My, yeah. All performers have a little bit of OCD. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> Going forward into a new year, into a new decade, Yes, it is, another, it is another decade. Yes. Good Lord. Good Lord. What is the goal? The goal remains the same, cutting out the, the, the crap. To cutting out the crap, Sandra Bernhardt. Yeah. Cheers. I'm really all Thanks about for being that. on the stoop. Oh, it's wonderful.